Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on my way down to you now, lads. Yeah, yeah, I'll be down in a few minutes. See you then. Good luck. Go down to Tandy's. Don't mind your Tandy's now this morning. You've enough to be doing around here. With the passage in the end later on. And the girl a concert inside tonight. I want to have a few barrels brought in and stock up that bar for me. And will you look at the stage in the place? I can find nothing in this house with you around the place. Jesus, we are my glasses. I can find nothing with you. You're my thickened hot bro. And then you jump up behind me and fight me. And I'm not well. I'm not. I'm not well. I'm very sick. I am. I could be dead in the morning. I could. I could go like that. I could. I can be lying there in the back of that store day, and you just walk off me. Where's my dinner, mammy? Where's my tea, mammy? Where's my trousers, mammy? Where's my supper, mammy? And what are you wearing? Where's the... You see that? You play that young fella. Hey, come back here! Hey! Hey! Are you wearing a vest? No! And you cut your dish account dental beyond my fault. I can do nothing right. I can't. I'll have to get it off. I will. I'll have to get it off tonight because I can't rely on you. You're my fucking heart, bro!
Jesus, Matty, you'll have to do something about that missus of yours. But you Jesus, my one isn't giving me an awful trouble over you, sir, sleeping in the freaking shed. She doesn't even know you're there, sir. And I have, to go, I have to go back and listen to her tonight now. And what's this about me giving you £25 a week in for lodgings? And she don't even know I'm there. And I just... Uh, Jesus, you're some scut, you are. Uh, they come here, did you bring any sandwiches? No, I shouldn't have the banana one for myself. The, the mercy fellow, oh, that means I have to go out and buy a bit of lunch today because... Jesus, so just wouldn't you go home, you big man? I'll sort it out on time, don't worry about it. We'll sort it out. Jesus, that old mattress is like you put on to the there's nothing dead about it, sir. Well, we had the chest just caught off, Mrs. H. Dad, and laid it. I don't have to sort it out, but I did. If it's either that or I'd be dead. With dampness and cold from your place. Well, but just as I'd be dead if you don't. Freaking Kathleen has my head warden out, sir. When is he going? What's he doing? Well, I'll be bringing that fellow around. And you'd swear I was, I was sitting inside in the sitting room having tea and, and, and biscuits with you every night. But we just. We'd come outside in the garage like a puppy dog. Ah, like a mongrel. From outside in the garage like a mongrel. I'll go back to that island now and I'll be, uh, my heart is broken with you. We'll finish up early now to see him. Because I'll have to try and get some kind of a clean up done of myself for tonight for the key. Well, if you get back early, I'll sell for me back from the hospital. Well, that's what I'm saying, I'll be able to get you. Going over to visit an aunt's house. Would she? And the visiting there's between eight and nine. Oh, that's what I'd be So she'll go over around seven. She'll be going out to the house at half six. All right, I'll get a tidy up then. You can tidy yourself up then, but you better be out. Was up that bucket of stuff, will you, Willie? Yeah, right, yeah. Hi, Jimmy. Ha. Huh? Did you ever hear of an inverted arse? I'll give you an inverted arse now if you don't throw up that bucket. No, 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 look at this here in the paper. A huh? in France. A in France. Look, and he had a, an operation to reverse it. And there are the pictures there, before and after. Ah, huh? Yes. Huh? And would you listen, listen, listen to this, Jimmy? Listen to this now. After I awoke from the anesthesia, I turned in my bed to see the king. Elvis, who proceeded to sing a verse of Teddy Bear, who at the age of 83 sang like he was 22. That, that wouldn't have been the key. Aye. So he didn't sing that he was in his thirties. Oh, God, you're probably right there. You're probably yeah. right there, Jimmy. <laughs> well, Joey, how was the farm? Well, Joey, how are you? How are you, lads? This is flying up for you. Should be a grand job when she's finished. I shot this flying at Joey. <laughs> She's as sweet as a nut, Joey. <laughs> huh? I tell you something, Joey, he's some mover. <laughs> so there's no flies in that villa, Joey. <laughs> and if they are, they're paying rent, I'd say. <laughs> Who's that? Mickey Melosha! <laughs> so who else will give Penny permission to build a two-story high house and six plots in the graveyard, huh? <laughs> Can't be that? <nice. laughs> I tell you something, Joey, he's not sitting on the council for nothing. <laughs> Didn't he have to get planner permission here to put in a Chinese chip shop? There's a long more left in it, lads. And I would have been out of it weeks ago if it wasn't for Casey. Uh -huh. What's he doing for you? He's chasing walls for us, Joey. Hey! Hey, Casey! Hey, will you come back? Hey! Put on Put on Tell, tell us something, Joey. He's not as fast as he used to be. I should be at that for tonight now, Joey. Here, what's wrong with the mixer, anyway? Huh? Now? <laughs> Will you tell you all about the mixer, Joey? Right, well, <laughs> well, you know, and fake off. Well, it couldn't be the motor. Huh? Did you hear that, Willie? It couldn't be, it couldn't be the motor anyway. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Never the know. Never the know. Hey, Joy, did you ask him to this time longer than this? <laughs> he got Joy, he's flying it, huh? He did a fine job in that for him, Joy. Well, tell you, he's lucky to have it. <laughs> Yes, and his heart broke, sir. The car was burnt out again. Sure, uh, tis nearly daily that's doing it. The buys are saying she's not taking her tablets. Will you shut up? Huh? Sure, will you, you shut up and know I'm going on about it? Sure, I'm only saying what everyone yeah, knows, sir. Yeah, we'll leave it out. But, sir, sure, what do I say? Sure, sure, I didn't say it. Sure, will you shut up? You look, lads, I'm away, OK? Yeah, right. Yeah. Right, Joey. OK, Joey, so we'll see you now. Oh, come here, you're, you're coming up to us tonight, you are. Oh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, sure, I, I'll see you later on. <laughs> you're coming up to do us back with us? Oh. Uh, yeah, probably will, like. <laughs> sure, we'll see. <laughs> see you later, lads. Good man. Please, Jerry. Wouldn't you shut up about it? Sure, I didn't open my mouth. Yeah, you didn't just shut up about it. Oh, no, Almighty, you can't open your mouth around Will you shut up? Go down for that bucket of stuff. Hey, 
Well done. Well done. Oh, how are you, Joe? <laughs> You're here for the keys, Dan, yeah? Thank you, goodbye. Uh, she left them up here for you now, someplace. One second. Did she leave them up there for me, someplace, Joe? I think she left them up here, someplace, for you, Dan. <laughs> You're here early, Dan. Unless you someone have to be down, Joe. The other crowd will come down to the committee meetings all night and they'll talk away. But will they be in the morning to open the gate? They won't be down, you see. Oh, you're right, Dan. You're right. You're right. There's the old army training sends the major, you see. My mother was never in the army, Dan, was she? That I should have never went to that bit, Joe. Everyone did their own little bit in their own little way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, Dan, will I get you a cup of tea? I won't drink tea, no, Joe. Jesus, I haven't drank tea since the emergency. I'll have a small powers. Get me a staff. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. Small powers. Well, the emergency, Dan. That was out in India, wasn't it? It wasn't in India, George. Huh? There was more people killed in that field, Brad. Than I was ever killed in India. Go away. Here, tell me when to war now, Dan. Wars is Dan. Now. There were more people killed abroad. Than ever. Abroad in what field, Dan? Abroad in Hassett's field, Brad. Hassett's field? Jesus, that's kind of very dry, Joe. You want to tap that up? Oh, right, right. Barton has his field. Well, it was my house. My house oh, now. Oh, my house field. Right, right. But it was Hassett's one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what happened out there, Dan? Well, the bastards. What ah. they didn't do. Young Hennessy, God love him. Now the rest is so. Mother of God. When I think about it, what they did to that man ooh, in front ooh. of his wife and children. Who did this? The bastards did it. Oh, yeah. They took the man out. Yeah. They came down in the lobby. Oh, Jesus, uh, many of them was in it. And that poor man was there with his wife and children having a picnic. Picnic. They uh, had doubt they were just sitting down there minding their own business in their own country. Having a simple salad. Bit of beef roast and scallions and ham and bread and butter. Maybe a bottle of orange. A uh, simple old salad is all they were having. And they came down there, the bastards. And they lifted that man up, took him up from his family. They ripped the socks off him with a bayonet, just like that, in front of his own family. Jesus. Then they took him out to the middle of the field, God love him. The mother of God, when I think about it, Jesus, what they did to that man front of his family, put him up again a wall, in the middle of the field. One bullet, bang, bang, back of the head. Up again a wall in the middle of the field. That's kind of right, Joe. All right, then, right, right, right Joe. Bye. Right, sir. Hello, Joe. How are you, Nelly? Good have a, a plain bar of chocolate, please, Joe. A plain bar of chocolate, right, Nell. Now, here you go. Bless you. And a uh, box of matches. Oh, Nell, no. I can't give you matches now, Nelly. The, the mother will kill me. Ah, Joey. <laughs> a small box of matches never hurt anyone now. <laughs> no, no, Nell, no, look. I'll have a, a bottle of bovril, so. Bovril? All right. <laughs> Nelly, the matches! <laughs> Hit the mother and kill me! Nelly! Nelly! You bastard! I ain't bastard! Bastard! Piss me fair to flavour confession. Okay, go ahead, young man. Do you not want to know how long it is since my last confession? Well, if you want to tell me, go ahead. Well, that's the way I always do it with Feather Hesset. All right. How long has it been since your last confession? No, you, you don't ask me, I, I tell you. It's like, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's a week since my last confession. All right. Go on, then. Tell me. Well, I haven't taught you how long it is since my last confession yet. I thought you said a week. No, that's just the way I do it with Father Hassett. 
Well, how long has it been since your last confession? A week. A week, all right. Continue on, sir. Continue on what? Your confession. But I haven't told you how long it is since your last confession yet. But you told me a week. That's not the way I do it with Father. Has. Listen, you're with Father Sheehy now. <sighs> okay. Do it the way you do it with Father Hassett. Does that mean you want me to go back to the start? Yes. Okay, I'll go over it all again. Doesn't take this long with Father Hassett. Sorry? Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's a week since my last confession. Go on. I, I was using bad language. I was fighting with my sister. I stole a care. I took the name of the Lord in vain. S -s -s Sorry, one, one second. What did you say? I was using the name of the Lord. No, 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 no. Be before that. I stole a care. You stole a care? Yes, Father. And, and why did you steal a care? I don't know. So you think you can just that slip that in there with bad language and pulling your sister's hair? I didn't say I pulled my sister's hair, Father. I said I was fighting with her. Stop! Do you think stealing a cow and using bad language are the same sin? I suppose they're not. But you, but you still think it's okay to steal a cow? No, I didn't say that, Father. No, Father. And, and what... What colour cow was this? It was a red cow, Father. A red car. <laughs> it was a red car, is that right? Yes, fellow. Do you realise the sacrifices people make to have a car? No, fellow. Do, does your father have a car? No, fellow. Does your uncle have a car? Yes, fellow. Right, well, now, would you steal your uncle's car? No, fellow. No, 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 you wouldn't, for sure you wouldn't. But you think it's okay to go away and steal someone else's car and maybe burn it out? No, and no, Did you do any damage to the car? Yes, sir. What? Yes, sir. You did? What damage did you do to the car? I broke the door of the car, Father. You broke the door? You broke the door? <laughs> do you realize the amount of effort and the torture and misery you have caused the people by going out and doing that? Have you anything to say for yourself, young man? I can give it back to my cousin Jimmy. It was his dinky cow. <laughs> dinky cow? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it, Noah. You don't have to be worrying about these things because, as we know, I'm. That's the tell of my No, 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 no. no. <laughs> say, Say one Hail Mary and God bless you. Two Hail Marys and an old father. Father. What? That's a father has it always gives me. Oh, well, all right then, you can have uh, two Hail Marys and an old father. Am I going to hell, father? No, no, you're not going to hell. A car. Sure, a car is nothing. Sure, our Lord didn't even have a car. Well, anyway. I'd better be off. <laughs> Things to do, bingo tonight and all that. <laughs> um, God bless you. <laughs>
to you live on Schliebnerman FM at 11.3 on the dial. Now, in keeping with our tradition on Schliebnerman FM of bringing you some of the country's finest performers in music, song and dance, it's my great pleasure to welcome to the studio two of our very own, the winners of the Golden Microphone of the Year Award for the best wedding pub band in Ireland, which was no mean feat, the one and only Tom and Jerry. Hello, Paulines. No, Joey here. Oh, Mikey. All oh, right, it has gone down again. Tonight? No, 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 I couldn't, no, not tonight, Mikey. Well, 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 like, not with everything that's going on around here, like, uh, you, tomorrow. Well, I'll have to give you a ring in that, like. Yeah, no, no, listen, Mike, I'll give you a ring in that, right, tomorrow, yeah. No, right, I'll give you a ring in that. O okay, Mikey, yeah, okay, Mikey. Good luck, Mikey. How are you, Joy? Huh. Ma. Will you have a cup of tea, Joy? No, I'm fine, ma. Oh, why don't you have a quick cup of tea? No, but, but, but I had one already. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. It's very important to get a cup of tea inside you. In case you get your bed all cold and die. Yeah, die. <laughs> no news on uh, Mary Mahoney, ma. No, it doesn't look too good, God love her. If she'd only looked after that old cause. <laughs> but as you often said yourself, Matt, there's no talking to Mary Manny. <laughs> no, there wasn't, was there? <laughs> she hasn't passed away, has she? No, but your God is good. <laughs> <laughs> well, the lads were saying that she's all the arrangements made in plenty of time anyway. She's the plot and all, but. <laughs> and tis well she knew what she was doing. Best woman has annoyed me all my life. And what's more, she was helping to the name even when I was dead and buried myself. She, that's why she bought that plot. She knew I had me eye in the one next to it. But I have a surprise for her joy. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's that, man? I'm going to be inseminated, Joy. And when they're finished incendiarizing me, I want you to take my ashes up to the top of Croker's Hill and fire them up in the air, and Mary Mahoney won't know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be a right soak into her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right, man. <laughs> Make sure the wind is blowing south. I don't want to end up in belly. Oh, Jesus, I hate that belly crowd. What's this over there, Joy? Where you, man? Over there. Where you? Behind you. No. <laughs> Take another look. No. <laughs> Nothing. You be well advised now, Joey. Take one more look before you say any more. I don't know, ma. <laughs> Looks like a suitcase to me. <laughs> well, is that a good one, huh? What's a good one, all right? I got that from your Auntie Bishy. And I wouldn't like to see it leave in the house. What's it doing here? <laughs> I was airing it. And what were you airing it for? Well, just to let the air at it, like. So it wouldn't go damp or mouldy underneath the bed, like. Just to let the air through it, like. To kind of... To, 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 so that it... You weren't thinking of leaving, were you? Well, ma'am... Well, you can put that idea straight out of your head, because you're not going anywhere. But, ma'am... Well, what's about it? What do you think you want to do? Where do you think you want to go? How do you think you want to survive? You can't even bail a neck. <laughs> I can! Are you all right for everything, boys, yeah? Well, you can fry one. Yes. I can fry. Poached? I can poach. Scrambled? Scrambled. Fickin' scrambled. Ah! <laughs> I have you, you little shit, you. <laughs> you haven't a fickin' hands to wipe your ass. And you'll be no sooner run out that door and you'll be home crying for your mammy. <laughs> Was that what you think, ma? Oh, that's what I know. Well, maybe that's where you're wrong, ma. 
Because maybe, man, maybe I could be anything. Maybe I could do anything. I could sell the top field. I could buy a nice little car and get a set of roof ladders to go on the top of it. I could go snail farming. I could be an inventor. I could... Don't go saying something now, Joy, that you might regret. The only regrets I have now is that I didn't get out of here years ago. I can't believe what I'm here, didn't I? I can't believe you made it, Joy. Well, you better, man, because it's the truth. I can't believe him, Tom. After all I did from down throughout the years, the pain, the hardship, the not knowing. Not knowing what, man? Well, you should have not finished. The not knowing, Tom. Sitting up with him late into the night. They're sitting beside him in school, so the children wouldn't bully him. And all this I did for you. And is this the thanks you give me? Is this the way you repay a mother's love? But you never loved me anywhere, ma. I don't want much to know about you. I suppose you're right, ma. Me here on my own, trying to be a mother and a father to him. It's all right, ma. I won't go. Too late. We got the bag and thick off. Huh? Go on, thick off and fill up you. But, ma, no buts about it. Unless you apologise to your mammy. I'm sorry, ma. Goodbye, Joey. Now, go upstairs and take off your good clothes and clean out the lounge. You can come down then and have your dinner. I have a nice pig's head on tonight. Same as you always have. What's this? Nothing, ma. Hey, hey. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Hey. Hello, love! Woo. Hey, hey, I don't like the look of your one. <laughs> sure there's only one there. <laughs> hey, that's good for tea. That's good for tea. Where are they? Where are they? Hey, love! Jimmy wants to buy you a bag of chips. Woo-hoo! She's up with you. Woo-hoo! She's up with you. She's up with you. I tell you, she's away on you, I tell you. She's away on you. Is she laughing or what she doing? Hey, yes, she's laughing. Huh? She's laughing. She's <laughs> <laughs> enjoying the old crack. Huh? Woohoo! Woohoo! Hey, 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 hey. Who the size of them? Flowers. Hey, I like the size of your clematis. <laughs> She's running off at an awful rate, isn't she? Huh. She must have forgotten something, isn't she? Oh, hi, love! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll go back and do something. Oh, yeah, hello again, Bay. Uh, She's in Agles and 16, 16 stone, her first guess now, 20, her second guess is 20 stone. She's going for good cars, lads. How would you put them down to? Massey Sullivan now put her down for 19, 10, 19 and a half stone. Rosie Murphy has her down for the ton. She's laying at that. Hey, right, what would you think? I don't know, I'd have to have a look at him, I think. Well, what do you want to see? If you can get him up there and have a look at the hindquarters on the shoulder, maybe I might get him. We had to guess a bit. That's well, you get him up here, there, now. Come on, pal. Come on. Come around, come around. Come on, come on. Come on, he's well fed. Oh, you can see that in him anyway. You can see him. Come on, come on, come around. Who's that? Come around. 
Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. This side over. This side over, this side over. Good lad. That's it, come on. Steady now, steady, 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 steady. Steady, easy, 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 easy. Here, come back, come back. Come back, come back, come back. Come around, come back. One way out there. You're leaving over here. Good lad. That's it, steady now, steady out there, steady out there, steady out there. Solid look, solid look. Energy wise, yeah. If that John for that, will, if I have to ask him once now, I have to ask him a hundred times, will you live past Canada and Law on it, John? Go away on it, I'll bet you. Where are it? What do you think of them there now, boys? How would you like to stay up there? Stay him up there. Where's he? How would you put him in? Corky Stone. Corky Stone. Corky Stone. There was a pole in that, didn't it? We'll be getting a power here to the tin place. The power here to the tin place. Anyone going up to the map? That's because he laid up there for the dog trunk competition. The dog trunk competition is about to snap. I'll tell you what, just kill him. Because one of the boys put 40 pounds to win on your one there from Belly with the Jack Horsey. That should be an awful handicap with that dog. Oh, Jesus, I don't know about that, Bussy. What's wrong with you, American? Sport up there. Oh, I was down at the shooting gallery. Yeah, I just they're, they're, they're marvellous now, the two Maloney brothers. Is there one of them here now, fella, for the last eight years? I just have a house full of teddies below. There's some collection now, fella. <laughs> Listen, Dan, I'm parking the vehicle over there. Is that all right? Oh, dear, right. So down be the bouncy castle, pal. There, you have plenty of space down there for what I'll you want. I'll do that, Dan. I'll do that, Dan. Right. Yeah. Free the powers of China onto the drink. Powers, smart powers, very powers. Come down after the ditch, let's see, one you'll fall and hurt yourself. Be hard fun again, lads, till someone loses an eye. Come down, let's see now.
Lads, we'll be, we'll be starting the match up soon now out in the far end field if you want to make your way down to it. The match will be starting there between uh, Langoli and Bally. It'll be a tight hold, man. We'll be there again. Up to Glen boys! Aye! Mother of God, what was that? She's an awful sight of woman, got pissed off. Huh? She's, she, she's not suitable for soft ground. <laughs> she's not sweating out in soft ground, I'll tell you. No, she won't. She won't. She won't. She won't. Who's, who's doing the building there? Sure, he's got that. He did that. He did, yeah. I just see his mate and a white mess in the water. Huh? No, it's yeah, sick. Wouldn't, they wouldn't let no. the bed fella put up an outside laboratory for me, huh? And he built it a fine, a, 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 a fine armor bungalow there. That's Richie's place back there, wasn't it? Richie's, yeah. He's going to crack in the hostels. Well, shall I go? Shall we go Jesus Christ, you've your oaks there calling up to the window. Did it, how's your hand? No, I see, Mike. Shall I went in there one day? Went in there, put the, 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 the five odd pony inside the kitchen. He had the loaf of bread. No, I wouldn't survive. Inside the kitchen? Couldn't take a bit out. Take a bit out. Was a guy. What they didn't do to them poor boys about years. Now, Dan, tell me what you were there. Well, God almighty, do was it, Dan? No, I am to know, either of them. All they were doing was eating two old bits of bread. A simple old bit of bread. A simple old sandwich is all they had to do with them. And they were beat up and down that road, I say. Beat as sunder, up and down. Why, when down below in my house feed was only a mile again, what happened to them two young boys? Was, was that the black and tans again, Dan? It was. No, sir. The Christian brothers, the bastards. Jesus, what they did to them two guys. Bastards. Mother, I don't know. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Hey, did you see who's below? No. Did you not see who's below? Now, now would you know who it is? Jesus, I don't have your heart, Jimmy. Long Devon. Oh, wait, well, Jesus, I have him now, all right. Uh, uh, he plays for his. I guess he did till Friday night. <laughs> he made shit of a Leyland below on Friday night. Oh, yeah. He was coming out of the lake Friday night. And he went up to turn the Brady Gubbins' gate above. You know what Brady is? Yes, I know. The no, the no bungalow above. That's right, yeah. Well, Jesus, he, what he did, he made shit of the tractor. He pulled like, the piers down, gates, the whole lot came with him. He made shit of the lot. That's the fellow with me. Oh, my God, Jimmy, that's a good one. Huh? Huh? Do you know why? Sure, but... Wouldn't the Davidon himself that put up them piers? Oh, eh? They cut stone piers for Brady Gobbins. Two Davidon that built them. And I tell you something, Jimmy. That's a good one now. As she told me herself, her heart was broke with him. Oh. He was two years putting up them two piers. Two, she told me herself. I met her one day. I was coming down the road. She, the woman was in tears, Jimmy. Oh, eh? And she said to me, she says, he came of a Saturday. It was a wet Saturday. And he started. And he went up about a foot and a half in the left oh. pier. And then he flicked off. And she didn't see him then for about another... It's uh, six months, she says. Oh. I was broke with him. Huh? Oh, my God, that's a good one, huh? I guess he might have put him up in two years, but it took him two minutes to take the whole fucking lot down. Oh, my God, Jimmy, that's a good one. Huh? Huh? That's a good one, all right, huh? And listen, come here to me, Jimmy. Can you count of the eagles? Made shit of the eagles, the whole lot as well. Tore the whole lot down. Jesus, Jimmy, they were lovely eagles. Oh, Jesus, they were lovely eagles. You were smashing eagles. What did Bill, Bill Bryan that mould at them eagles? Oh, baby, Bill Bryan. He did. Didn't they see him myself above, didn't they? Bring the moulds in from England. And he cashed them above and cashed concrete. Jesus, they were lovely eagles, huh? They made shit of the whole fucking lot right now. Oh, Jesus, how are you, Mikey? How are you, how are you, Mikey? Oh, yeah, you see, like, one up ahead above. Yeah, right, right. okay, well. Well, Mikey, how are you, okay, for now? You keep her well, Mikey, you are. Listen, come here, Mikey, while I have you here now. Come here to me. I tell you, listen to me. Oh, your father. Listen, come here. Is the sister here tonight? She is. She is, will he? All right, right. Listen, come here to me. Will you, will you tell, 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 tell her that I've the care tonight? I will. <laughs> Father, we're playing you. I'll see you, Mikey. We'll be the only handy up to the band podium now, please. All right, Jimmy, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, bucky, bucky, bucky. Oh, bucky, bucky. Hello, boys. You were down outside in the field earlier on. The music was mad. It was a funny man. Was that beautiful? We were very lucky to get him a shot there. Oh, there's another one coming out here. Oh, bucky, bucky, bucky. Oh, bucky, bucky, bucky. 
One minute I go down, pee me to the dead. Why? No, well, I'll say she left the one that's still off with one of our old fellas down here, no? We're going to still off with one we've written all the same as myself and Jimmy here, the brother of us. Jimmy here was the quiet one of the family. Jimmy don't say it no more. And now wait to me. We're going to do a number now. Myself and the brother Jimmy here. And I'm a hard. What's the guy's name? The Battle of the Wild Willie Wallace. Take it away, Jimmy! I step round like good bye, there's a few more coming out. Well, peace up. Right. Lovely sound after. No more to bite. Right. What is this? Harry, Harry. Harry Davidson, yeah. is that right? Yes, it's beautiful. It's very shiny. Yeah. Mr. Nelson, Mr. Nelson, it's very shiny. The last of it, now that's the gin and tonic and two snowboards, okay. Mikey, what did you want to get there? He was a trumpet musician, man, and he's loving a lot of my own. And when he stopped to have his seat, his favorite food was so. He took his cups of coffee, and he's not up to you. But the one thing he missed was the marvelous thing that we say you'll issue. Oh, why do they want us? We would kill and chill. Why do they want us? We're still very hot now, you. Being the big rose, the baby would stay with you. Why do they want us? We're still very hot now, you. Hey, Down the Come up and do an hour spot, he was here. Goodbye, Joey, mate. Now, there's your. This is about that, sir. He gets up and do something. And this is not half enough for he doing something nowadays. He's a fine old fella. And the song, if I even don't remember, you wouldn't remember the old green song. We used to sing out of that when we were young fella. The lovely old songs, they don't have them now. You don't, you see, you don't. It's all you want is the old pop. So you listen to me, you listen to me. All you want is the old pop music. And then what it is now, when you weren't allowed to sing. Ah, you, you'd have your little songbook there and you'd have it tucked into the trousers. Or into your other pants going up and down the road because if you were hostages, the bastards would take you out and they'd flog you. They'd hop off you. Oh, just for singing a simple loud song. I've heard it once, I've heard it twice, oh not today, but all my life, oh I've been trying, trying to be me, I'm afraid. You know what I think about?
around. But they used to do to the children singing in them there. And they cook all their teeth. They did. They came over here and they took their children's teeth. They have a little old teeth, little old teeth the children will have. And then they took every little one. And children walking around the streets. I remember when they were young fellas, when they were bare feet and they had no teeth and they said to their fellows, why did they take our teeth today? And they used to say, the fellows used to say, no mind them, at least we have our sin. Sorry. They're all laughing at you. And I swear there's some of that belly crowd here as well. But you know what? But you've turned out to be nothing but the common little corner pie. Little corner pie. That's it, isn't it, ma? You haven't noticed, have you? That I'm not a boy anymore. That I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. The first sign of hair in his ass and he gets all excited. <laughs> no, you don't understand, do you, ma? You see, ma, I've had hormones racing round inside me for years. Up and down the legs of me trousers and everywhere. They're like mad bullocks waiting to break out of me. But you can't understand that, can you, ma? Because you're a mother. And mothers don't have hormones. Is that what you take? Jesus. She's possessed. No. I'm your father. No. No, you're not my father. You can't be my father. I don't believe you. Well, you believe this. Joy, Joy, come back! 
Joey, come back, it's me, your father! Put that size, Mrs. Hefferman. Put that size. It's all right, Joe. It's only me, your father. No. No, he's not my father. I don't believe you. Well, if you don't believe me, ask them. Go on, ask any one of them. It won't be long telling you. Paddy! Paddy! Paddy, we were at school together, Paddy. Tell me, Paddy, is it true? Mossy! 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 We all knew. We all knew all the time. How do you believe me, son? But why? So why do you think? Your mother ran off out of here years ago. Sick of me to see you grown up without her mother. And what happened? And your mother couldn't hack it, son. She couldn't take it. You see, your mother and myself. We had everything. Love, happiness, romance, passion. Then we had you. So she left because of me? Ah, no. I can't blame her. You see, before we were married, Joe, and your mother and myself were courting. She has regret old times. Milk churn racing up and down the village. She having bullocks in the summertime. Your mother was a pure natural, you'd have been proud of her. And the two of us out all night, every night. Till the early hours of the morning. Lamping maggots. She has our great old times, Joe. So what went wrong? I mean, you had everything. Huh? Before you were born, Joe, your mother and myself were married. Just we great old times. I'd spend weeks at a time in the pub. The only time I'd see your mother was when she'd bring me my dinner every day in a plastic bag. She enjoyed that, got her out of the house. But then you were born, John. Things changed. Well, I changed. I wanted you to have everything I never had. I wanted to be with you all the time and do things with you. So I gave up all the old things I was used to. I didn't go to the pub anymore. I stayed at home with you. Jesus, I was getting under your mother's feet. I watched you, clothed you. Veggie. Everything. Final straw for the poor woman. She came home one evening. 
Follow me breastfeeding you. And what did she say, Dad? She just looked. The next morning, her bags were packed to the bottom of the stairs when I got home, Joe. The longest day I ever put down. The last I saw your mother was half seven that evening. Hopping on the six o'clock bus. And where did she go today? I don't know, son. Somewhere out fun. The last I heard from her was about 15 years ago. I got a card from a place called Jimahoa. Tim. A hoa. Tim. A hoa. So what can we do now, dear? You don't realize the weight that's been lifted from me, Joy. I was fed up living life as a lie. I want to do all the things I haven't done in years. It's time we're going to the toilet standing up. But there. Why did you call yourself Pauline? Uh, there's a big crowd of lads in our house, Joe. Your uncle Sean in. Your uncle Martin. It was Willie in. Tom in. Danny in. Mike in. I was christened Paul, by your grandfather, Geraldine. But I called you Joe, after Joe. Well, you can call me Josephine now. Pauline. I doubt it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>